Hello. Hey Taylor, it's Gary Vee. You're on the Ask Gary Vee Show. No way. Yes Holy way. Crap. Okay. I basically would just dying to ask you a question. Um, currently graduated college last May, and I'm trying to build my own business brand, hustle, all of that kind of stuff. And my question for you is, and I'm probably sure that a lot of people ask this or I'm wondering okay. the same thing. It's okay. How do you get over the stump of you're graduating and you feel all this pressure because you're trying to build something, but you're still so young, but you want to do this fast and grow it big. And I'm just in a rut and I can't get out of it, but I have a hustle and a drive that I know I'll be able to build something, but I'm just in this space that's I know where not you're at. allowing me to. The space you're in is probably the macro micro issue. So it's macro patience, micro speed, right? So what do I yeah. mean by that? You need to be patient as fuck, Taylor. You're, you're 22, 23 <laughs> years old. Like what do you think's gonna happen overnight? So you need to be fast, 7 a.m. to 2 in the morning every day, but in the big picture, you need to realize nothing good is gonna happen for the next six years. You, like, let me ask you the pressure, who are you, like are you trying to prove to yourself, to your siblings, to your parents, to the world, like who are you trying to prove that you're successful to or that this was the right call as you're, or you're gonna make it? Like that's what you have to figure out. What are you impatient for? Like what's, what's the problem? What's the rush? I feel like I've known that I'm meant to do something big and I feel like I watch all these other millennials hitting these huge, I guess, milestones. How old are you? I'm 22, about to be 23. Okay, what milestone, please give me a millennial and the milestone they achieved that makes you feel like you're just sitting in fucking Buffalo. Um, well, honestly, there's people on social media, which definitely is not always true, Ooh. but I watch a Kardashian or a Jenner, which is lame, but. <laughs> like, you're telling me that Kylie Jenner's fucking trillion followers on Instagram makes you feel like you're just sitting there? No, I feel like the fact that she's already got a business started that's super successful. Did you factor in the fact that her sisters and mom architected something for 10 years while she was a teenager that she was able to walk directly into that gave her a springboard and that she had the financial capabilities of deploying ungodly amounts of you know, plastic surgery and, the, and all the other variable things that she's been able to do to create that culture and that financial benefit? Yeah. Did you factor in that her mom is a ninja architect of business and created that framework? I agree, but what the fuck does that have to do with you? Like you looking at the Kardashians is the most ludicrous horseshit I've ever heard in my life. Every second you spend thinking about what somebody else has is taking away from time that you could create something for yourself. You're, you're losing. You're losing because you're laying in your bed looking at somebody's fucking glamorous photoshopped picture of them doing something cool and you're envious and you're jealous and you're impatient and it's crippling your upside. So go do shit that actually gets you there so that you earn it instead of like you dwelling that you're not there and hoping something's gonna happen. You've gotta deploy patience and you've gotta love the process. I'm addicted to the process of the battle scars, the setbacks, you need to stop giving a shit about what anybody else has and realize that if you put your head down and just work for the next 10 years, no glamour, no new fucking car, suitcase, jewelry, trip, event, no Coachella, no fucking new fucking sneakers, like fucking work, you will have it. Don't beat yourself up. Don't hold yourself accountable to arbitrary bullshit fantasies. Just put in work and enjoy that. Enjoy eating shit and dirt and bleeding and the grind and don't give a fuck about what anybody else thinks, why you haven't done it, why are you doing that. Have four jobs, fucking Wendy's, Walmart, your side hustle, work, train, learn. Don't think you're a digital expert just because you're 22 and you have an Instagram account. Show me how much fucking shit you've sold with your digital social media skills. Okay. Do you understand?
No, I do, yeah. You're just, you're just, you're just completely in the wrong game and I'm holding you on to this because you and 99% of the people that are watching are playing the same game. Work, that's the answer to all these questions. Slow and steady wins the race. You're only competing with yourself. Okay. Got it? Got it. Nobody else defines you, not me, not everybody watching, not your mom, not the fucking Kardashians, you.